Hello, my angels. Today we're going to be reviewing the Universal Celtic Tarot. This is the mini deck. It was sent to me. So um, the whole point is for you to see the cards to determine if you want to buy the original deck or not. I'm learning that some of the decks that I've received are no longer in production, so you can only get the mini deck. Um, so I will give you some more information about that as we continue. These are not in any specific order. I just opened this. So we're just going to go by exactly how it comes out. You have the Justice and the Hanged Man. And if you'd like to look at the video, the cards a little bit more, you can pause it. It's interesting how two men are bowing before her. Hmm. You have the Death and the Temperance. It's interesting that she's not holding the two, but instead the water's flowing. This is very Kali like. You have the devil, which is a giant, and the tower. And there's actually skulls in the tower. Wow. This is a very interesting deck. The giants did exist. That tongue is very long. And it's like they're bound to his tongue. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're bound by something that you said. Oh, sorry. The star and the moon. And the moon almost looks like she's pregnant. Like she's holding her belly. Oh my. You have the sun. Very interesting sun. The deers are very important in... Is that a deer? I think it is. In Celtic folklore. The judgment a dolphin and ghosts huh if you guys know what any of these things mean symbolically please share the world it's a stag right is it the same thing a stag and a deer the fool why are you going to call a leprechaun or a gnome a fool walking on his rainbow walk like an Egyptian The magician, and the, oh, this is very like Aries energy, but it's not Aries ridden, but because you see the ram in the world. Interesting. It's like an Ouroboros of a ram. The magician and the high priestess. And at the end, I do do my two card reading like I always do. Let me know if you guys like this format better than my other format where I'm actually in the video and I'm showing you the cards. The Empress and the Emperor. Again, a very stag-like energy. The Hierophant and the Lovers. Ooh, a threesome? She's going to kill that. <laughs> Third party, anybody? Anybody? Third party? Party of three? <laughs> oh my god. The Chariot and the Strength. It's a bear instead of a lion. The hermit and the wheel. She's pregnant again. A lot of pregnancy in these cards. You got the chickens. I'm surprised they didn't put like a, a wooden wheel behind her. You know, like the ones that paddle water. That would have made a lot of sense in the background. Two of cups and three of cups. I know and th these make no sense, but this is exactly how they arrived. I do love this one though. She's crowning her king. That is gorgeous. Four of cups and the five of cups. This reminds me of Lord of the Rings. He's looking at all of them. He's walking away from his past. That's a very different one. Six of cups and a seven of cups.
They're not even looking at each other with the Six of Cups. So it might be a reconciliation that's not gone awry or... He's got four cups, she's got one. Rejection. Doesn't look like they're in union. Seven of Cups is options, but I don't see how the dragon made any sense there. The dragons, I think, should be in the swords. Nine of Cups. Oh, again, another pregnancy in the Eight of Cups. Am I going to get pregnant this month? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so many pregnancies. <laughs> Eight of Cups is usually walking away. Nine of Cups is a, a wish granted. Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. They got little theories. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It's a water horse. The Page of Cups and the, I was going to say it better be the Ace of Cups because that's the only thing that's going to make sense. And it's interesting that he made sure to have the fish like the Page of Cups always has the fish. And the, what is this on his chest? Celtic. I don't know what these mean. If, you guys, if anybody knows what that means. I know these are runes. I'm studying runes now. I only know Fehu by heart. Two of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Anybody know what that means? Then there's Stonehenge in the sky. And then you have the runes and... The, what does that mean? I'm letting you guys tell me so you can put it in the comments so that we can all learn. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. I like this deck a lot. I think once I learn what it means, because I'm doing like a documentary where I go all over the world studying religions and indigenous people. My documentary is forever evolving. Um, I just have to update the page. And I'm learning like how a lot of cultures have very similar things in their indigenous ways. Seven and the Six of Pentacles. Like this symbol, only it keeps going bigger, like the circle. That's in Peruvian culture and all all cultures all over the world. It's so cute. This one's cute. Eight of oh, there you go, little leprechaun. After you became the fool, you sat down and got some stability. Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles started working hard. That Nine of Pentacles is creepy AF. She does not look stable and independent mm -mm, no ten of pentacles that should be the eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles the ace of pentacles stonehenge and the king of pentacles imagine that it had all these symbols on stonehenge that would have been so beautiful they are portals that allowed us to travel to different parts of the world instantly. They were probably wormhole centers. Queen and the Knight of Pentacles. Very Game of Thrones-ish. Three of Wands and the Four of Wands. Again, the Stag. And now there's dogs looking for your ships to come in, but the stag must mean something more than I'm aware of. Five and the six of wands. I believe that the druids actually held all the ancient knowledge before it went to Switzerland. Seven and the eight of wands. There were like two tablets and now they're stored in Switzerland. Nine and the Ten of Wands. Again with the runes. What is this? Hmm. It's a goblin. King and the 
the Ace of Wands. For some reason, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Golden Child or Eddie Murphy. That's what this reminds me of. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. It's shaking a lot, right? Let me pull back a little bit. Again, she's surrounded by runes. Page of Wands and the Two of Swords. He's mastering electricity. They say that, that the Nordic and the Celtic people were supposed to master fire. Four of swords and the three of swords. Maybe the electrical part of the body? Five of Swords and the uh, Six of Swords. I don't know what that means. Seven and the Eight of Swords. I don't know how that's the Eight of Swords, but okay. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what happened. Sorry, guys. Uh, Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. The Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Ace and the two, the King of Swords. And the Queen and the Knight of Swords. Three Horned Bull and this, the Celtic Cross and the Page of Swords. Feels like something's missing. Hmm. Usually they're supposed to be even numbers. I'll find out later when I divide the cards. So let's very quickly do a two-card reading for you guys. And then I'll merge these videos and publish it. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share. This video was created so you can look at all the cards and decide whether or not you want to buy the decks to help eliminate emissions for the returns. And a lot of these end up in landfills when you return them. So we just want to make sure that we're doing a little part in saving the earth. That way you're only buying what you need to buy because you know that you want the deck. This is the mini deck, but I will have the link for the, um, let me just, for the full size one, if it is available. I'm finding with a lot of the mini decks that were sent to me, the full size ones are not available. So the mini decks were created. Seven, eight of swords and two of pentacles. Somebody deceived you and now you're really stuck on, on what that deception was. And you're, you've you been juggled. I mean, either you were in a third party situation or you're juggling whether or not you want to trust or take this person back. Or what your next steps are going to be. Can I get some more information? You have a lot of love in your heart for whatever this situation is. It could be work that you got stabbed in the back and you got fired or something. There, there is a lot of love here. You do have something coming in for you that is very mm, emotionally fulfilling. But you keep holding on to this past energy. You keep, you, you're, be, you're stopping yourself from, full, from having this emotional fulfillment because you continue to hold on. To this past energy that's disappointing that's 
kind of like a regret that that leaves you feeling left out and unloved or unappreciated. These came out in reverse. Your nine of pentacles, you, you're not either emotionally, um, financially well or independent at the moment. You might be in a codependent relationship and there is no long-term stability. This is short term. This pain was caused because of this, but there is something better for you out there once you learn to let go of this thing that keeps holding you back. That's what I have for you right now. If you do like my readings, feel free to book a reading. Um, I do have private readings. The information's in the description below. Um, please like, subscribe, share. Feel free to donate. I do use them to buy full-size decks, and I do buy a lot of full-size decks, but I do get the mini the minis um, sent to me by somebody. I don't know who, but thank you so much. Um, and I have purchased a couple on my own because I didn't want the full-size deck. I kind of wanted to see if I like the cards, and I'm very happy I did that because... I didn't like the cards. <laughs> so I'm actually using them as a giveaway on my tarot channel. Um, if you do want to see the giveaways that I have on this channel, please hit the notification bell and it'll tell you when the next video pops up so you can see the cards. But also you can see when I am doing a giveaway. Um, the next card deck that I'm giving away will be um, in a video coming up. Okie dokie pokies. Until next time. Bye.